They found a girl with her head cut off. On February 23rd, 1983, a little girl between the age of 8 and 11 will be named St. Louis Jane Doe. Two men searching for a pipe to fix their car found a little girl between the age of 8 and 11 with her hands tied behind her back and her head missing. They found her in a vacant apartment building on Clemens on the St. Louis West Side nearby the infamous Cabinet Court apartment. At first, they thought it was a prostitute or a dope fiend or something, but when the detectives arrived and they flipped her body over, they seen that it was a little girl. That's the shirt she was wearing, and that's all she was wearing. And this case has been featured on plenty of those murder TV shows y'all be watching on Oxygen and all the other channels. It was on a show called Sightings, where they tried to use psychics to help solve the case by touching it and smelling the sweater and fingerprints to see if they can get the spirit. And one of them said that her head was located in the Gulf of Mexico, but they never followed up on that. The detectives exhausted every avenue that they usually take to find a missing person. They check school records. They check missing person lists. They call parents, ask people in the neighborhood. Nobody knew nothing. The police on the case said, man, this is just an example of how haunted that neighborhood was. I don't know nothing about all that, but they never saw the case, and it's one of the stains on the St. Louis Police Department, with some of them still trying to investigate it to this day. So I'm just here to tell you all black history ain't good history, and this is certainly part of black history because she is a black woman that was never, ever identified and her case, never got solved.